go. Okay, so our equation is H3PO2 plus Cr2O7 2 minus. And it goes to H3PO4 minus 2 plus okay. Cr3 plus 3. Now, what you have to do is do oxidation numbers. And since you already did that, H is always plus 1. And oxygen is always minus 2. So then, and you multiply these together and multiply these, so P would be plus 1. And then, this is this whole thing is minus 2, so and oxygen is always minus 2, so it would be negative 14. And negative 14 plus 12 is negative 2, because this is 2 above, which is plus 6. And hydrogen is plus 1, minus 2, plus 5. And CR is already 3 plus. Now what we did here was we did, we did the half reactions for each of them, for H3PO2 equals H3PO4. And for this, the P, what the P does is that it gets more positive, so it's losing electrons. So what we did, what we did here is we added four electrons. That's what happened. And then we had some, we had to balance the oxygens on this side, so we added water. And to balance out the hydrogens on this side, we had to add hydrogens here. And we did that for the same thing for this one. For the second one, Cr2O7 goes to 2R, 2 Cr3+. And we put six electrons here, and we put a two here because they there's two CRs and there's two CRs, so we had to balance it. So this becomes this becomes six plus, and this is twelve. So twelve minus six is six. And we have to balance out the oxygens here, so we added seven oxygens. And then we we had to balance out the hydrogens, so we added fourteen hydrogens. And now what we did next is we multiply all the electrons together to make it the same. So since this is six and this is four, we have to make it to 12. So four times three is 12, and two times six is 12. So, and you multiply everything in it by all together. So this is what you would get, 28H plus, plus C, two Cr2, O7, two minus, goes to four Cr3 plus, plus 14H to vote. Oh my god, my voice. Uh, keep going, Matt. Okay. So now what we did next is that we eliminated the electrons because they're like terms. And we took out water. We took out water on both sides here because they're also like terms. And we also canceled out hydrogens. So our final our final answer would be 3H3PO2 plus 16 hydrogens plus 2 Cr2 O7 2 minus which goes to 3H3PO4 plus 4 Cr3 plus, plus 8 water. And to make sure that's right, what do you do? You balance it. This is 16, and this is 2 times is 4, so this will be 12. And right here, this will be 12. So they balance each other out. Alright, cool.